David Ligori with Ligori Drag Racing again. In this video, I'm going to be going over the engine start settings. And the engine start settings consist of fuel tables, ignition tables, and under engine setup, RPM for engine start. The RPM for engine start does not mean that your engine is going to start at this RPM. What it means is that the RPM setting you have here is what the fuel tech thinks that the engine is running at, is idling at, or above. So, for example, a lot of guys will keep 400 here because they're engine cranks over at 400 that's not what you want if your engine cranks over at 400 or a little bit more and you have 400 set here it does not switch over from these tables so anything under 400 rpms if that's what it's set at here then it will work off of these tables for engine start. If your engine cranks over above 400 RPMs, then you need to raise this. And I usually raise it roughly about 200 RPMs or more above what my engine cranks at. Because it needs to crank under this RPM so that it throws enough fuel and pulls enough timing in order to start the bike. And then above that 800 RPMs that I have it set at, then it switches over to my main fuel table and my main ignition table. So this can be very important for starting the bike or vehicle that you have. We'll do uh, ignition tables first, because that's pretty easy. So typically you wanna put the top dead center um, timing degree mark below what you are gonna be running your uh, base timing at. If it's uh, say 30 degrees, then you want to crank the engine lower than that on timing so that you don't have as much compression in the engine. It's easier to spin over. Um, if you have too much fuel in the engine, you can sometimes increase timing in order to get it to light. So there's only two degree marks here. There's 68 degrees and 176 degrees. So basically when the engine is cold and when the engine is hot, You may need less timing when the engine is hot because there's more compression in it. Under engine start for fuel tables, this is the temperature at which it's going to throw the fuel at it. So the more temperature, the less fuel you need. And if you're Bike starts at say 68 degrees and starts fine at 68 degrees but doesn't want to start fine at 140 degrees. Well, you need to come here at about 140 degrees and you need to make a change. I always remove fuel first before I add fuel because if I add fuel and it's too much, then I'm going to flood out the plugs, I'm going to flood out the cylinder. And then I might have to take the plugs out, clean them off, or put new plugs in. So if you lean it out, it just won't start. So I always lean it out first, see if it's going to start easier. It should start with no throttle, nothing. You should be able to hit that button and it should just crank right up. So remove fuel first. If that doesn't help, then add fuel to it. Remember where you started. So... I would take this maybe down to four and a half milliseconds 
if it doesn't start there. And then if it doesn't start at four and a half seconds, then maybe change that to seven and a half or maybe eight. See if it starts easier then. And same thing for each individual temperature area. You're gonna have to adjust that if the bike doesn't wanna start easily in those temperature ranges. And then you have post-start enrichment. Post-start enrichment happens at the time that the engine goes over this RPM because it thinks that the engine is running. So post-start enrichment will add fuel. This is percentage of fuel for a certain amount of time after the engine has started. So this is a base table of zero, one seconds, three seconds, and eight seconds. And then you have temperature ranges on the left-hand side, 50, 86, 122, 176. And those can be changed. I'm gonna show how to edit the axis in a different video, uh, so stay tuned for that. But these are uh, percentages that the engine is adding to it after the startup. So if you look at your air fuel ratio after startup and it goes super lean right after it cranks up, then add fuel to this table. If it goes super rich and wants to die, wants to uh, struggle staying running, then remove fuel from this table. So I hope that helps with the engine starting aspect of uh, running a fuel tech and really any other ECU also. Um, so hit the like button, hit the share, subscribe, uh, comment what you want me to do a video on next. Thanks.